All right, we got another developing story here. It is about Dwayne Wade, 12-time NBA All-Star guard. D. Wade nearing a deal to sign with his buddy LeBron in Cleveland. Probably no shock there, but he had a buyout, left $8 million on the table from the Bulls. From my understanding, the order went from Cleveland, OKC, and the Spurs. In that order, it looks as if the Cavs are ones who got Dwayne Wade. Now, I know that he had said, and he had talked to others, that this was about winning, a winning decision yep. for him. He wanted to be in position to win. Um, let's start there. What does this do for the Cavs if, in fact, the deal is done? I think it does a lot for the Cavs. I think if you, you know, a lot of people are going to look at Dwayne Wade and say he's washed. Look at his season in Chicago. But you have to factor in a couple of different things. I don't think they say that. You don't think they say that? No. I mean, he shot like 43% and didn't really put a lot of effort into defense. But that has to do with the situation yeah. he's in, right? Sure. You've got to consider motivation. You've got to consider teammates. That's what I was going to say. And if you look at his years, those four years with LeBron in Miami, granted he was a few years younger, but the last three years, his shooting percentage went up every single year to the point where he was at 32 years old, shooting 54 and a half percent from the field so you put him with LeBron and you put him with other teammates where he can be a playmaker he'd be more uh, sort of uh, pick his spots with his shots and everything else he can be an efficient two guard and he can definitely contribute to a team that is finals ready well that's right it's interesting so let's hang on that I, I don't think necessarily that Chicago is indicative of, of the type of Dwayne that we right. can see right so he gets there how does this look how does this look how many touches does he get because they're deep that's going to be an interesting one. That's going to be one where, you know, LeBron's going to have to sort of go back and think about his Miami days and how he utilized Dwayne Wade right. in that situation because you have other deals like, okay, let's say they play Derrick Rose alongside Dwayne Wade alongside LeBron James a lot. That doesn't seem to be a perfect combination in terms of guys that can play off of each other or complement each other. But we saw it in Miami after the first year, sure. after LeBron, Dwayne took a little bit of a step back, LeBron took over. We've seen that chemistry. We've seen that combination. So if they get an Isaiah Thomas back, if a Kyle Korver has a good three-point shooting right. season, if these things happen to spread the floor for them, sure. they can absolutely operate together. All right, the bigger picture is now, what does this do in terms of going to the finals and actually competing and giving the Warriors a run for their money? That one's, I mean, listen, I don't care what team you put together. It could be the Thunder, you're putting together superstars. It could be the Cleveland Cavaliers. You're not going to favor them against the Warriors. The Warriors are that good offensively. They're that efficient. And Dwayne Wade defensively isn't going to really do much against that team. But, you know, I mean, he's, He's been on teams that have given them problems, Miami teams. Boston maybe has figured out how to, you know, so maybe they can find a way. Obviously, they beat them one year, so. I, you know what I think is so discouraging? Every time we talk about one of these moves being made, whether it be Carmelo, and we'll talk about that, Carmelo going to OKC, um, Dwayne possibly siding with the Cavs, uh, we, we still say, okay, but they're not going to give right. the Warriors a real run for their money. Let's hang on that. What needs to happen? I mean, do, does everyone need to band together as one, the best players outside of anybody else on the Warriors? No, I mean, just for this particular season, you're going to have to have a little bit of luck there. You're probably going to have to have an injury or two to deal with with the Warriors. But frankly, if you get a team that just sort of comes together, that has a great chemistry, I mean, we didn't see the Warriors coming until they were there. And not to say that, you know, Oklahoma City all of a sudden is going to be a surprise team because we know how those guys play. Mm -hmm. But we also know that maybe they find some crazy chemistry. Maybe they do uh, change the way the Warriors have to play, and maybe they give chemistry Durant's in trouble. You never really know. I mean, just just a matter of nobody's going to be favored against right. them. But okay, I'm not so saying we'll leave it's it at 100% that. Favored. We, we we're not Nostradamus, but right. not favored.